Fire One TV, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King, Grace Differently, Anointed Differently, Fire One TV. Major, let me pray for you and approach this demon out of your life. What a blessed day for Big John, for he has found favor in the sight of God through the global prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King. Only God knows what the global prophet means this time. Have you been feeling dizzy? Been feeling dizzy? Because the moment I touched you, I started feeling dizzy. This red shirt you are wearing today is symbolic. It's symbolic to what is happening and what is about to happen. The Lord said, I should tell you and your wife. Your wife is in black, you are in red. The Lord said, I should tell you to stop wearing red, at least for one month. Because this season, where you are, it is not a good season. So anything that represents mourning, burial, disease from wearing it. Okay? Disease from wearing it. The Spirit of God says, the, the grave they dug in the cemetery for you, it has not been covered. It has not yet been covered. And I'm going to cover it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to cover it for you today. Amen. Glory to the name of Yeshua. For it is a blessing to be under a servant of God who takes your matters and issues personal to this extent. We believe that today the grave that was opened for his life and his family will be closed in Jesus' name. The Spirit of God said the journey you made, you were not supposed to come back alive. That you came back alive meant that he fought for you. But the battle is not over. Sir! There is somebody you hosted in your house. There is a friend of yours you brought to your house. The very day that friend entered your house, I don't know whether he slept or he came and left the same day, but there is a friend of yours you brought to your house. That was the day fire fell in your house. That was the day fire fell in your house. And as I'm speaking, the fire is still in your house. It's a fire of death. It's a fire of death. It is a life-transforming experience to have an encounter with the global prophet, for his eyes are not bothered on seeing the future only. He also has the grace to go back into time and bring mysteries of things that went wrong in your past that may be the reason of your predicaments today. Glory to the name of the Most High God, Yeshua Hamashiach. For today, the eyes of the global prophet have opened to see the reason why this man is suffering this afternoon today. And that friend, that is a pastor or a business friend, is not just a friend, he's the boss of you. You must die at all cost. You must be buried at all cost. As though when you die, he will inherit your wife or he will inherit your house. As though, as though, because when you die, he cannot inherit your wife. He cannot replace you in the life of your children. So why must you die when he is not related to you? There is somebody you brought to your house. That is your problem. That is your problem. You see, sometimes when people are so conscious of their pastors, it is not because they have no will of their own. It is because they know where they are coming from. Every step they want to take, they want to consult. Do you understand? There are people who are like that. But they know where they are coming from. There is a friend you invited to your home. That friend has disturbed your soul. He has disturbed his soul. Actually, I think I can confirm on that. There's a friend of mine that actually came to the house we are building, the new one. He's been pushing me, John, you need to move to the house. No, people die. Hey! Well, he, he was giving you a spiritual bullet as he was like that. He said those words, I think, on two occasions. When he came at first, he pushed, no, please. I, I know some of the things are not yet finished, but please move into your house. I've seen people die before they move into their own beautiful houses. So make it a point that any time you need to move in. And I've been with my wife, but she said, I think that's a very bad spirit. You need to tell Pastor why, about why, this. Why would you even but I never like told you. You never told me. No. You never told me. Wow. It seems at this point the global prophet has cracked the case open for everyone to see how wicked sometimes our environments can be through friends and family members. I believe the life of this man will never be the same after this encounter for his eyes have been opened for he has experienced spiritually a prophetic apocalypse. But those words came from him. Louis, 
Why would you think like that? For instance, uh, I prayed for you and I told you you are going to get a job. And you landed a contract with DSTV. And you have shifted from your mother's place and you are on your own. The moment I come, I say, ah, my guy, why don't you do this? Because I see people who get employed. And before they enjoy the blessing, they die. The moment the person thinks like that, you should know the spirit in that person. You should know the spirit in that person. Why should you see your brother excelling? And the first thing that comes into your mind is him dying. Why? Why? It's not like that. Do you know that the way the white people serve God is different from the way we serve God? Do you know why it is like that? Because of us, our mentality. We are serving one God, but we operate different. The black man's mind is so awkward, backward. Backward. Me, I have not mentioned anyone's name. And you yourself, you are witness, you have never mentioned this to me. It is you who is telling me. But I'm telling you that you have brought somebody to your home. That was the beginning. Fire fell in your house. That was the beginning. Fire fell in your house. And spiritually, they have dug your grave. And any time from now, you are supposed to have fallen into it. Even before you came from Dubai, you were supposed to be buried. Coming down. But God stood with you. The church stood with you. But the Lord said, the grave is still not covered. It has to be covered. So come, let me cover it. I know your, your favorite color is black because most of us see very black. It's not very black for now. At least one man, two months, let the, the season pass. Let the evil wind stop blowing. Amen. It is most common in the prophetic ministry for people who are closer to the prophet to become so familiar with him that he would not see a thing about them. But in Fire Nation, it is a different case. The global prophet does not care how close or related you are with him. His eyes have got no barricades based on relations. This red that you are wearing, the Lord said don't wear it again. Anything that has to do with red and black, don't wear it again. If you don't understand this prophetic direction, please go and argue with your ancestors. Because God doesn't need to explain himself to you. If he says, go and throw yourself in the muddy river and your leprosy will live, he doesn't need to just obey. Does it make sense? Oh, just obey. If the, if the river is muddy, but it is coming from God, guess what? Just obey. Based on biblical principles, Prophecy comes with prophetic instructions that leads out of situations. In this case, this man has received a prophetic direction that leads out of a situation. It is left for him to obey prophetic instructions as they are uttered by God through his manservant, the global prophet, and his solution will be permanent. Sir, so I should tell him not to attend any burial, any funeral. If been if you don't have to go and look for uh, and view the dead, even that one is far. Just your feet alone touching the burial ground is enough for the enemy to get you. So never, whoever it is, and God will protect your children, your wife, your son in Mauritius, all the people that are around you, God will preserve them. Amen. In this season, from now to the next three months, no burial service for you, your wife or your children in Jesus name Amen. I said in Jesus name Amen. I said in Jesus name Amen. you see the flu the flu you had because when you were that side was it flu or a cough it's, it was a cough and a flu yes, the flu you had that time it was not a flu it was the smell of the dead and it entered through your right nose so that block nose you had, which later became a cough, it was not an ordinary. It was the spirit of death, the smoke of death that entered into you. That entered into you. Church, rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Big John, even if you don't have money, go and borrow money. Raise a seed of 27,000 pacha. Even if you don't have. Even if you don't have now. Just go and apply for a loan and get it. Because when you are alive, that money is nothing. You will gain it back. I want us to pray for Big John. We are going to cover the grave. 
Amen. Vision, this thing I'm going to do for you, don't let it disturb you. I want you to lie on the carpet. Thank you, Jesus. This prognostic ministration was on the 10th of April during a live Sunday service. The global prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King, caused this man to lie on the altar while he ministered a word of prayer with his congregants for him. Let's pray that any spiritual coffin and any spiritual grave they have dug for him, the person who dug the grave should go back into it. Let's pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, we call upon you in the name of Jesus. You said in your word that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. As we pray for your son, deliver him from that coffin, deliver him from that grave. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we refuse it that your son will be buried. We refuse it that your son will die premature as we pray for him. Lord, we release Angel Michael, we release Angel Raphael, we release Angel Hazel, we release Angel Jeremiah, we release Angel Gabriel, all your warring angels. Father, Lord, be send them with the sword in their hands. Let them fight for your son. Let them fight for your son. We counsel burial. We counsel burial. We counsel burial. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. As I lift him up. He has been lifted from the grave. Hey. And he will not die premature. Hey. In Jesus' mighty name. Hey. Any spiritual wound yes. inside your body, mm. I command it to die. Hey. Any spiritual sore yes. inside your body, yes. I command it to die. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. The Bible says, iron sharpens iron. Yes. The fire I carry. Yes. I release the fire in your body. Hey. I release the fire in your body. Hey. I release the fire in your body. Hey. In Jesus' mighty name. Hey. You will not be diagnosed of any demonic sickness. Hey. I cancel it. Yes. You will not live your life on medication. Hey. You will live your life yes. on the word of God. Yes. And on prayer. Hey. In Jesus' name. Hey. God bless you, sir. Hey. God bless you. On the 17th of April 2022, Big John was called on the altar by the global prophet to testify to the glory of the Lord, Yeshua Hamashiach, for what he had done for him after the previous ministration by the global prophet in Fire Nation Arena Ministries. This was his testimony. I'm not going to prophesy to you. I'm not going to prophesy to you. Unless if the Spirit of God will lead me to pray for you. Big John, please come and stand here. My son, Big John, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I believe you are delivered. You are not the same person you were last time. Big John was diagnosed of certain things. Certain things. And he mentioned it to me. And he said, they have asked him to come tomorrow and do another test. And this test, they are taking it to India. And the moment they take it to India, it is a settled matter. Because most of this lab and these hospitals, they are, they are sponsored by the gods of Indians. They are sponsored by them. And the moment they come back with the report, you have no choice than to spend money, fly, go for surgery in India. Your life will never be the same again. How can you be a son of this commission and your body become molested to that extent that you fly all the way to India? So I stopped him not to go for the test because that sickness is a spiritual sickness. And that is what I diagnosed for him on Sunday where it was coming from. Because I was so confident and I was so bold and I was so straight to the point to say there is somebody you brought to your house. That was the day fire fell in your house. And I said that is why some people it will look like they have no mind of their own. Every step they will, they will take they will consult their prophet first. Yes. Do you remember I said so? Yes. Every step they will take a relative of mine is coming. I will consult my prophet to see if it is coming in peace or in danger. So my question to myself was. 
if Big John had confirmed to say, yes, I brought somebody to my house and she's the woman seated behind me, what would I have done? <laughs> what would I have done? I may be aggressive, but I'm a very wise man. Very tactical. Very prophetic. There is no prophet who is, who is a fool. Every prophet has a prophetic wisdom. God gives them. So I would have dealt with it nicely, diplomatically, that it would have been peace. Amen. Bijan, that operation or that whatever diagnosis, don't even bother yourself to go. Uh, give Big John microphone. How, how, how have you felt after the prayer? In the first place, what were they diagnosing you of? Which was false. And how have you felt after the prayer? The, hello? Uh, they, they diagnosed me of uh, prostate uh, cancer. And I was taught to go for a biopsy. Who said, hey, can you imagine a son of this house? A prophet is driving the car you, you sweated to buy for him. And they diagnose you of what? Cancer? It's impossible. Say never. So it was on Monday that pastor came with uh, the intercessors. They visited us uh, at home. And they really fired uh, heavy prayers. After we prayed at home, we went to my other project. We also prayed there. Then after that, when we went back home with my wife, we could even feel that um, we even feel light in our bodies. I even communicated with pastor that, pastor, after the prayers you gave us, we feel even the atmosphere in the house is quite very light as compared to what we had the other weeks. And um, on Monday, I even found him, I think it was after lunch. You know, I've always been having headaches, feeling bad in my body, but on Monday I felt very brand new. And uh, to be honest, I've been really down. But uh, from the time we had those prayers, I tell you, I feel very, very, very fine. And um, this goes to the church. You know, whenever we have challenges in ourselves, don't look elsewhere. You know, it, I was so humbled um, to sleep on the altar. You know, an altar, I've always said and I've told you before, that an altar is a system of authorization where covenants are made. And believe me, me lying on the altar like that, it might come out so simple in your eyes, but believe me, that means a lot in the realm of the spirit. And I think Papa, to, you know, our issues, it takes them so personal. You know, when they came home, they came with two bottles of olive oil. And I think you know how much olive oil costs. And uh, there is more that I would want to say, but it's, I mean, my heart is so, is, is so touched with what Papa can do for us. It takes things so personal. Even when the time they came home, they were very tired, but he gave his time. For me, you know, I was so humbled. I mean, God knows how much uh, I appreciate what Papa did for me and my family. May God bless his ministry. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. God bless you, Big John. You will live long. On the 1st of May, 2022, Big John came to seal his testimony with a report from the doctor. Glory to the name of Yeshua for what God had done in his life is an amazing, amazing miracle. We glorify the God of the global prophet. We glorify the God of Fire Nation. We believe that many more testimonies are coming. We thank God for his family. It will never be the same again after this encounter. Hallelujah. Give, give Big John the microphone. Give Big John the microphone. Big John, when you went to the doctor, tell the church what happened after you did another test. Um, it was three weeks ago and they diagnosed me with uh, prostate cancer. When I went back, uh, that was last week. After the prayer? After the prayer when I laid down on the, on the, on the altar. altar. Yes. So when I went back, they did another test which came out negative. The test came out negative? Yes. Ah, Mama, you should be clapping your hands for Jehovah God. Your children, you should be clapping your hands for Jehovah God. Chai. This is what we call grace. Do you understand? A pastor will come on the altar and say to the church, eh, our son suffered from cancer. God gave and God has taken. Let's go to the cemetery and bury him. Not in this house. Fire nation. Those pastors, they are different. Me, the grace I carry. I don't bury church members. Daddy, yes, to, sir. Conf to confirm the prophecy even further, 
I've got uh, a message from the doctor. Uh-huh. Um, that's a WhatsApp message. It says, uh, congratulations, Mr. John. No cancer. Okay. Biopsy. No then, cancer or no cancer. No cancer. No cancer. In the biopsy. In the biopsy. Yes. That, 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 that means after the test was done. Then, uh, I thank God, Big John, you listened to me and you believed in my grace. Yes. The grace of God on my life. When I told you to say, don't go and do that last test they wanted to send to India. It was definitely going to come with negative report. You say, yes, you have cancer, colon cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer, this cancer, bone cancer, skin cancer. They were going to come up with that problem. And he believed me when I said, that one they are sending to India, don't go and do it. Come, let me pray. Come, let me pray. And by the grace of God, God has proven himself that indeed his ears are open in this house. Amen. Do you know what it means for a doctor to diagnose you of cancer? And the following week, you do another test and they say there is no cancer. In another churches, there is that, that pastor will probably go and sleep in a cemetery. Invoke the spirit of the dead. Do all manner of sacrifice before such church member will receive healing. Ordinary prayer. Yes. We did not even take 10 minutes. God answered for him. Amen. Church member in this house is permitted to suffer from cancer. Amen. It can never happen. Amen. Not because it is my power, yes. but the covenant I have with my God, yes. it can never happen. Wow, viewers all over the world, it is an honor and real privilege to be witnesses of such a mighty manifestation of God through his manservant, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King. We have seen with our eyes that God has got no barricades when it comes to healing. He heals any disease, prostate cancer has got no power. We can stand today and testify and look at the prostate cancer and say, where is your sting today? Where is the devil now? Glory to the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. For today, the Lord has delivered his son from this attack through his manservant, the global prophet. I encourage you wherever you are, it might be any sickness. You might be going through a lot right now. You might be going through difficulties in your life and your health. I want to encourage you that an encounter with the global prophet can transform Form your entire life those of you that are not yet subscribers to the channel I encourage you right now to hit the subscription button and hit the bell notification that you may be notified each time there's a video uploaded Fire Nation Arena Ministries is a mountain of giant solutions for giant problems God bless you all thanks for watching and see you soon Fire One TV, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King, Grace Differently, Anointed Differently, Fire One TV.